Hi, welcome back to the shop. Today on our Atlas Craftsman lathe project, we're going to get into disassembling the headstock, removing it from the lathe bed, and then doing the final disassembly of the lathe bed from the bench. Let's get into it. First, I need to remove these last two guard brackets from the headstock. Now I'm going to remove the forward and reversing gears. There's just a nut on the back and then it's a shouldered bolt that the gear sits on. I have the assembly parts diagram here. For the top spindle, it looks like we have a set screw to take off this collar. Then these gears and spacers should slide off. After some further review, it sounds like this collar here is threaded, hence the flats, and that's what tightens down to load the bearings. So I've got my spindle lock. We'll attach it on that gear, and then we'll gently try to back this collar off. Well, that spindle locks for the wrong direction, so we'll install it on the back side. And there we go. That is loosening nicely. If you don't have one of these, I picked it up on eBay. They're a dime a dozen, or their files are on Thingiverse. You can make one yourself. I have a piece of leather here so I don't mar the surface of this collar. There we go. Next should be the roller bearing. But we can get that once we slide the shaft out. Now here, as I showed you in the intro video, is this uh, gear that's broken off the pulleys. This is what would drive the back gear. Uh, and I did find a replacement on eBay, so I've got that ready to go. But next, we have a lock collar here, and then there's a uh, set screw on this main gear <clears throat> that we'll need to remove, and then the shaft should slide out through the front of the headstock. Should be in the operative word. disengage the back gear make things a little easier now hopefully these set screws haven't raised a burr on the spindle because they usually do and that always makes the collars a pain to slide now I do see a set screw here I believe if I remember correctly that is for oiling the drive pulleys because this spins freely on the spindle So essentially, this is just a little plug. And let's check for a second one. Yep, 90 degrees off. That collar does not want to budge. Bearings seem to be in pretty good shape. Definitely need to be cleaned and greased though. Luckily, it's magnetic. All right, I'm gonna leave the bearing races in. They seem in good shape, and I don't wanna deal with pressing those back into place.
Well, there you have it. I have the headstock disassembled and removed. So as usual, one of the uh, lock collars on the spindle gave me a little bit of trouble, but I was able to get it removed without damaging anything. Um, I just used some wood spacers and was able to press it off basically. As far as the headstock, just got to get it cleaned up, scrubbed, and we'll be ready to paint. And all other parts will get degreased, uh, cleaned up, deburred, and ready to reinstall. Well, here I have all the headstock components cleaned and ready for reassembly. So first thing I'm going to do is remove all the masking tape off the headstock, and then we'll start putting it together. Coffee, do you want to help?
Aha! Aha, fool me once. Well everyone, that completes the cleaning, reassembly, and restoration of the headstock for my Atlas Craftsman lathe. Everything's working really nicely, everything's been inspected, there's no chipped teeth, really not even any wear. Uh, all the bushings look good and everything moves nice and freely. So really happy with those results. The main repair on this was replacing this uh, drive pulley cone, or drive cone, and then the gear that drives the back gear. This is the original, as you can see, the gear has broken off the pulley cone. I found this replacement off eBay. It's in great condition. Got that installed. Now in normal lathe operation, when you're not using the back gear, your motor drives this uh, cone pulley, which spins freely, but to drive it without back gear, you engage the pin on this bull gear. This bull gear is keyed to the spindle and so therefore your belt drives this pulley, the pulley drives this gear, which is key to the spindle, which spins the chuck. So that's for your normal operation. For back gear operation, you pull the pin out, so this cone spins freely, and then I have to lift this up, you engage the back gear, and so now your belt drives this cone pulley, the cone pulley drives this drive gear, this gear drives the large back gear, which is connected on the spindle or on the shaft down below to a small gear, and that's keyed together. And then that small gear drives the main gear on the spindle here. As you can see, if I turn the cone pulley, this gear drives the back gear shaft which in turn drives this gear, which is keyed to the spindle, which rotates the spindle. So that's all working normally now. So I'll have a functional back gear, which will be great for working on projects. And uh, that's pretty much it. So anyways, in the next video, we'll get uh, into doing the final reassembly of the lathe and hopefully make some chips. Thanks again for all the support of the channel. Uh, I appreciate uh, you watching and I'll see you next time.